Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge. Tonight, we are doing a, an unboxing video, like we like to call our Cardboard Coat Checks. This game, Pulsar 2849 from Check Games Edition, is checking in, and I gotta make sure there's nothing untoward going on. So I'm gonna take a look at what's in this box, and I'm gonna share that with you. This is my first time seeing this game, in particular this copy of this game, but I have played a demo of this at Origins. So I have seen the components in this game, but it was from quite some time ago. It wasn't this year's Origins, it was last year's. I do have to thank Check Games Edition for providing this review copy of this game. No other compensation was provided. All right, we are gonna take a look at Pulsar 2849. Before I do, just wanna ask everyone to please hit the subscribe or follow button for wherever you happen to be watching this video right now, and then you'll get notifications for when any of our content comes out, like episodes of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. If you're not into watching video, though I assume you are if you're watching this right now, you can also catch the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast on your favorite podcatcher. We're on iTunes and Switcher and all those things. You can find us Google Play, wherever. You can find our podcast wherever your favorite podcasts are found. On that podcast, we generally answer your gaming and game night questions, whether that's an ask me anything or answers to direct questions. If you do have a question for us, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head over to that website I mentioned, tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop. Enough of the self-promotion, we are gonna get to Pulsar. I'm gonna start by using a hobby knife to cut off the shrink on this box. And then what I'll do is I'll read out the back of the box, but then I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can better see what I'm doing. And we'll take a look at everything that comes in Pulsar. Now this one did win a Dice Tower Seal of Excellence. It is from Czech Games Edition. It's a, a nice uh, medium heavyweight Euro game. That, like I said, when I played the demo, I was extremely impressed. It is the year 2849, and humanity has hara harnessed, not harassed, sorry. It is the year 2849, and humanity has harnessed the power of the pulsars. Now we must find a way to distribute this power throughout the stars. They even call it a Euro. In this Euro-style game, players explore space, claim pulsars, and discover technologies that will help them build energy distribution infrastructure on a cosmic scale, AKA it's an engine builder. Dice are used to purchase actions and players choose their dice from a communal pool. There are many paths to victory so you can blaze your own trail to a bright future, AKA it's a point salad. A uh, big list of the components, there are a lot. We're gonna look through those though so I'm not gonna bother reading those off. This does play two to four players. It says ages 14 plus. It says an hour to 100 minutes. Um, my experience even just doing the demo would be to almost double that from what I've seen, but maybe if you know the game well. All right, so now we're gonna tip things down and we're gonna take a look at what is in the box. So first off we have, a pile of stuff. So we have advertisement, we have whatever came out for check games edition, which includes trap words and a bunch of games. Fair enough, we have the rule book. This is a significant rule book. I would not call this small. Uh, we got summary on the back, icon index, always a nice thing to see. We are looking at 19 pages. One of the things I don't like to see right at the beginning is two player and three player games change in rules. I usually prefer if games don't have any kind of variant for playing with different player counts, but we'll see, maybe it'll be fine. All right, we're gonna flip through this quickly. Nice component list, that's very nice, showing all the different components in the game. Nice graphic here. We've got some pretty space, we got an overview, a really large setup. I was a little worried we were gonna have dark text, or sorry, light text on a dark background. I do not see that. I see nice dark text on the light background. Looks like lots of examples. Artwork looks very uh, sci-fi, which is a nice touch, it works. Lots and lots of pictures, it's good to see. Look at all the movement examples here, nice, all in different player colors. Looks like an excellent rule book. I gotta say, CGE, Czech Games Edition, in general, has some of the best rule books I've ever read. I'm expecting this to be no different. Looks good. Scoring summary. 
like I said, it's it's a heavier euro. We get end of game, and then we have some variants, some summary for gold tiles. So to be honest, the actual rules for the base game are 17 pages. Then you've got some summary and then some variants for two and three players. Always a fan of player aids instead of player aids. So you have a player book. Wow. Okay. So here is all the technology A, technology B, technology C, and technology D. I gotta admit, I love that this is separate, not in the rule book. That's nice. That means people can pass this around without having to pass the rule book around. So it would be nice to have a couple more copies of this so that more than one person could look at it at once. All right, we got all kinds of stuff in the box here. This is a, not a light box. We got baggies, extra baggies. That's always a bonus. There's gotta be more than one here. Yeah, a bunch of baggies. I like it when companies give me baggies. We got some nice round overview cards. And look at that, four players, four overview cards. Thumbs up. Two-sided, um, I'm assuming this is some kind of iconography for the final scoring. Very clear icons, not that I know what they mean. And a nice rule summary. Having four is a nice touch. Some dice. They are slightly reflective silver and red. They're standard D6s, these feel like wood. Yeah, I'd say these are wooden dice. Very light. I'm not gonna bother taking the rest of those out. Whole bunch more baggies. All right, cubes and other things. Little tiny rocket ships. We are looking at, I don't know how well this will show up, but that's cute. It's a little stand-up rocket ship. Um, actually, it's very similar to the ones in Race for the Galaxy, but in clear coat, like clear color. Yellow is probably not the best choice. You know what, let me grab a red. So we have a little rocket ship, which I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Little rocket ship. We have those in player colors. Uh, there are two of each color in here. So it looks like Czech Games likes to reuse components in different games, which just makes sense, right? Uh, I took computer science, software reuse is a really good thing. Component reuse, saves money. I recognize that personally from adrenaline, but that is a little plastic drop or pointer. I'm not sure in this game, it would be a blood drop if we were playing adrenaline. And then we have a whole bunch of little cubes here, white cubes, kind of looks like a, a salt crystal, slightly cloudy. Then we have candy, well, at least it looks like candy. Again, in player colors, little plastic discs. I'm just gonna take some of those out so you can see them. They got a nice thickness to them. Nice shine, nice plastic, nice weight. They're not heavy, but you can see the thickness there on this blue one. So we got a bag full of those and all the player colors. Then we got boards, lots of boards. Okay, so art on the background, functional on this side. Makes me wonder, wouldn't it be cheaper not to print it with art on the back, but sure, looks nice enough. We have another one. These are obviously going to go around the very round board. I see where our drop is gonna go. It's gonna fit right in those spots. Again, I have played this, but it was a long time ago. It was over two years ago. I liked it a lot. This is where you're gonna track a couple of your progress tracks. Then we have the board itself. We'll see how much of this I can get in camera. Looks like I might be able to get it all. It is two-sided, nice touch. Don't know if there's a difference from the two sides. You got a scoring track on the outside. You got player starting points out on the edges. And you got all the lanes you're going to explore and all the pulsars you're going to be able to try to take control of, which are going to use round tokens. So here's the other side of the board. I don't know. I'm not going to stare at it for too long to know if there's a difference. So different colored loads, lots of pulsars and round the black hole. Nice. Not too thick, not too thin. Decent thickness cardboard. Very, oh man, wow, very easy to punch. That is well cut, that is a well cut die. Very impressed. Artwork's cool. It's almost realistic, it's, it's what, photorealistic? That's definitely drawn, those aren't pictures of people in suits. Oh, it's, like I said, look at how well these dies are cut, it's just falling apart on me here. It's just not a bad thing. Um, player boards, don't quite remember. I think so, they're summarizing the different things. Yeah, player boards. 
Wow, these are literally just falling off the... Look at this. That's good, though. That is a good thing. And these are the rings. I was mentioning those would go around the pulsars. You got rings in all the different colors, some other markers here. Everything two-sided, nice bright colors, really simple to see. Um, these are dice mitigation chips, basically. It's a dice-based game, but you can mitigate your dice rolls by spending these. Then we have the technology board that goes up at the top with standard technologies on it. Again, two-sided. Two sides are different. More technologies. Again, both sides are different. There's a lot of bunch of punch boards in here, a lot. All these technologies are all very icon based. If uh, if you can figure out ways for the galaxy, you can figure this one out. This one's actually simpler. Some more nice plus or minus pips. So again, ways to uh, mitigate bad die rolls. Space stations you can build. Again, two sided. These are actually gonna link together to build. It's either just stations or ships. Again, it's been a while since I played the game. You can tell it's going to be one of those point salad games when you have a 100 victory point token and a 200 victory point token, two-sided. Still more boards. Having a hard time getting these ones out. Pulsar bonuses. And finally, we have the end of the box. I don't know. To me, this is exactly what I expect. You got a, a medium to heavy Euro here. You got all kinds of cardboard tokens. You got all kinds of things that are gonna be randomized every game to add replayability and variability. You've got dice with counters to mitigate the dice. You got player boards. You got a large board that's modular so you can add different things for different technologies to it. A ridiculous amount of cardboard to be honest. Let's see if I can, if I get all this back in here. So these are all punch outs. to show how much cardboard's in this box. You got all that. A lot of cardboard. No box insert of any type, which is fine. I'm gonna end up bagging all this anyway. I bet you that multiple companies out there, your broken tokens, your Meeple Realties probably have an insert. Not a lot of individual components, but all those little cardboard shits are gonna need to go somewhere. And sorted, but thankfully CGE gives you a bunch of baggies. I am really looking forward to playing this. A full game of this, like I said, I did do a demo at Origins and loved it. Just taking me a while to get a copy of the game. And I do have to thank CGE for providing one this year. So there you have it. That was a, a look of what comes in Pulsar 2849, designed by Vladimir Suchi, put out by Czech Games Edition, exactly what i expected to see in here uh great looking graphics very clear icons lots of icons it's gonna take me a while to learn those lots of player aids um summary sheet for the technology cards individual player summary sheets individual player boards uh it's everything i expect from a, a medium to heavy euro i'm amused the game calls itself a euro you don't see many companies using that term usually that's something reviewers and game players talk about a uh, ton of cardboard in this box point salad -y. Looks good, looks fantastic. Played a demo of it, game looks great. Really looking forward to actually getting some plays in this and getting some reviews out there, which you should be able to find those reviews at tabletopbellhop.com as well as on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop. If you dig this video, be sure to hit the subscribe, like, follow, all those thumbs up, good things you can do to make us content creators happy. You can also head over to table to, or sorry patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. Uh, for tabletop bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop. Good night and game on.